Want to save money quickly? Here are 13 easy things you can do to save money. Hey everybody, welcome back to The Happy Housewife, a place where we explore practical tips and tricks to make your life easier and your wallet just a little bit happier. Today we're talking about something I think we can all relate to, which is tightening the budget and saving more money. It's something I like to do every single month and I'm sharing some of my favorite strategies with you today. Personally, I prefer to spend on the big things that really matter and save on those daily purchases to maximize my savings and my spend. So let's jump right in. Every single month, I reevaluate my finances and make changes based on my goals. It's not difficult at all. It usually means reducing your spending and saving more money. If you truly evaluate where every penny goes in your budget, it will be obvious where you need to cut back. Now let's talk about some simple ways to save money that can have a big impact. Remember, the key to saving a lot of money is to save a little money every day. In life, it's the simple things that usually have the most impact. First, stay home. The more you're out, the more money you'll spend. Not only will you spend more on gas, but you'll also increase the wear and tear on your car. So if you're home, it's so much easier to save that money. If you do need to leave the house, combine those errands. Gas is expensive and so are new tires, oil changes, and fluids for your cars. Try to pick up the things you need when you're already out. This will save you both time and money. Next, shop smarter. Never pay full price for anything. I personally use Rakuten to get cash back when I shop. There are also apps that allow you to find the cheapest gas prices and round up for more savings. Pay with cash. Statistics show that when people use cash, they spend 12 to 18% less. Withdraw your spending money once a week from the bank and when that money is gone, you're done spending. If you don't like using cash, make sure you have a rewards credit card. Did you know I spent three weeks in Europe and paid for almost the entire trip using credit card points? The key is to pick the right card for your needs and make sure you pay it off every single month. Here's an easy one, eat at home. Unless you're a single person eating off the dollar menu at a fast food place, you will always save more money eating at home. If you're short on time, consider freezer cooking on the weekends to save some time during the week. Trust me, there isn't a single meal you can make at home that is more expensive than eating the same meal in a restaurant out. And make sure you menu plan. This takes a few minutes at the beginning of the week, but saves you tons of money by avoiding those extra trips to the grocery store or dining out because nothing is planned for dinner. We have lots of resources for menu planning, so make sure you check them out. Also, don't grocery shop when you're hungry and don't shop with your kids or a big spender. Shop alone and make it a tactical mission to stay under budget. Make your grocery list and stick to it. No impulse purchases and stay away from the bakery and the flowers unless they're on the list. I cut my grocery bill in half just by only purchasing what was on my list. Try to make a meatless meal once a week. Beans and rice are cheap and delicious if prepared correctly. If you really need to save money, try two or three meatless meals a week. Who says spaghetti really needs meat sauce? And while we're on the topic of saving money on food, remember to drink more water. It's cheaper and healthier than sodas or energy drinks. If you don't like the taste of tap water, try adding a slice of lemon, lime, orange, or cucumber. Replacing your drinks with water not only saves you money, but you'll probably shed a few pounds as well. Remember when you leave a room to turn off the lights, electronics, and the ceiling fans. It's a simple habit that can save you money over time. Remind your kids to do the same when they leave for school. If you want to get serious about saving on utilities, consider switching to a Nest thermostat to save money by changing the temperature automatically when you aren't at home. Cut your shower time in half. I know long showers are great for thinking, but shorter showers save money. Get in and out without draining that hot water heater. Have you thought about getting a library card? Libraries are a fantastic resource for free entertainment, from books to movies to music. And don't forget to return those books on time to avoid late fees. Not only are all the books in the library free, you can use your library card to download Kindle and audiobooks for free too. Simply use an app like Libby or Hoopla to connect your Kindle to your library card. Finally, recycle. Before you throw something out, think about how you might use that item for something else. Worn socks can become dust rags, 
Shoe boxes can be turned into free shipping boxes, and coffee cans can be used to store kids' craft stuff. The possibilities are endless. There you have it, some simple and effective ways to tighten the budget and save more money. Remember, it's always the small changes that add up to big savings.